My name is Robert Cole. I did my postgrad in viticulture and enology. I then opened a restaurant and I noticed there was a huge gap in salad greens, etc. So um, I then started off a small greenhouse with one or two people working for us. We're now up to about 25, 26 people. So this is a 10 kilowatt uh, heat pump. This pump here picks up the water from the tank, 5,000 litre tank. It goes through over here through the heat pump. As it comes back from the heat pump, it goes through our nano bubble machine here, which is also incorporates an ozone unit, and the water then goes back into the tank, heated and oxygenated. The nano bubbles, oxygenation of the water is incredibly important. We're seeing a lot more feeder roots that um, uh, absorb nutrient and oxygen. We're finding we're getting uh, a lot faster growth and also a lot heavier growth. So it's a win, 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 win. For my operation, it's been very, very beneficial. And I can see it being huge benefit for, for all hydroponic growers. We're basically running over 12 degrees all the time and so we're of course we're seeing a lot healthier production as well. Everything's plus, especially in the summertime when we're able to put it on reverse cycle and maintain growth during uh, extreme high temperatures. You've got to stay ahead of the game, that's very very true, but it's also cost effective as well. You're dealing with a clean energy, an energy that doesn't require a lot of maintenance. These things here you switch them on and they just do their thing. Yeah. Last year we spent $22,000 in June on diesel. So far, we've got two days to go, we spent $8,000. So it's had a significant effect. These are pretty expensive technologies to incorporate. For, for us here at Clearwater Gardens, it's gonna cost about $75,000 to upgrade our power. Add that on top of the heat pumps and then it becomes rather difficult, but if we're able to get a hand with, with financing and installation of, of heat pumps, then, then as a grower, I'm, I'm, I'm committed to spending that money and getting more power on site. From what I can see, it's not only a path that we have to take as an industry, but philosophically as well. Most of the growers in Canterbury, we work together. We help each other out. We share information on our processing, um, obviously through nano bubbles and through the heat pumps, etc., and just experiences that. Um, we're a pretty, pretty close group down here in Canterbury.